So give us an unbiased insight into how one should decide on taking up an admissions consultant. Um, practically what I did is like, uh, uh, first of all, you need to shortlist that which other base schools you are targeting to. So first and foremost thing which you would like to do is like you should be contacting with different alums of uh, different base schools which you are targeting. So I was targeting ISP and IIM ABC. I did that through LinkedIn and I contacted with many of our seniors or say the alums and I talked with them that how they have prepared. Okay, so I have got a very good feedback from like different students from ISP. At Google ISP is one of the trustable thing that you can opt for and you will be giving, you will be getting a personal guidance from there. So practically I have like uh, uh, been guided by you uh, during my preparation days. And not only this, I also have conducted with many other admission consultants also to be on a frank note, but the personal guidance I haven't got and the personal guidance and the personal coaching you will be getting here. So that, that I have got because you need to brush up your weak, weak areas. You do not need to strong more your more on your strong points. You need to brush up your weak, weak areas. So that I have got here that I was not very much clear on my thoughts and all. So that clarity I have got. So I have, I have got a clear goal and why I want to do an MBA, what kind of questions are generally there because you yourself is also an ISP LM and you are also taking different interviews and all. So you know that what kind of questions are generally being asked and what the adcom teams are mainly looking for. So overall, it's a, it was a great experience working with you. And like, I, I can tell that no questions, no, like a, not a single question was, was out of the box. Every question was like prepared. So you can, you can obviously give a flawed answer and obviously you can get a scholarship obviously for that. Would you like to summarize some tips and strategies for uh, people who are applying in the next year, how they should look at uh, their profiles and how they should, so what type of extracurriculars, volunteering activities, so there is a standard formula, is there a standard formula at all or, and what is the application process, how they should approach it? Um, I would suggest that uh, you should be giving your GMAT score, GMAT exam on like uh, June, July, August itself. And you should be targeting for round one application because there is a greater probability of getting a scholarship there. So this is one of the criteria. And whatever is being done, you cannot change that. For example, 10, 12 undergrad scores and all. So what you can do right now is like increasing your GMAT score and preparing well for the interview and SOP part. So again, getting a good amount of GMAT score is not sufficient. I'm telling this repeatedly because I am a worse sufferer of that. I have got a good GMAT score, but I have not got through IIM Ahmedabad. So this is the worst thing I have done. So you should be taking a proper guidance from the alums, proper guidance from the admission consultants like you. They will be properly guiding you, like what the outcome teams are looking for, what kind of a questions they will be asking, how to write the SOP, when to submit, what are the different uh, uh, like scholarships are there. So they will be properly guiding you. So you need what like what I feel after GMAT. You look for different admission consultants. You talk with them, whatever you feel, you, you go for that. And practically, I will be suggesting Google ISP for that because you will be getting a personal guidance, personal coaching here. So this is my suggestions for all the people. And regarding the extracurricular activities, you can uh, definitely opt for, you can definitely opt for different NSS activities. You can, like, if you don't have any extracurricular activities up to this amount of time, so you cannot do right now, right? So you cannot develop yourself right now in this uh, stage of time. So what you can do, you can go for different certifications and all to have a better, better clarity of work, whatever you are doing. For example, if you're an IIT field, you can do different certifications because they need a clarity of mind, clarity of thoughts in the interview process so that you can answer as well. So this all, all kind of a guidance, what you should be doing, what you should be not can be well, well versed by Shruti Ma'am. So obviously you can be getting a proper idea on that. So this is my suggestion for all the upcoming uh, candidates.